I'm just going to ramble. I'm going to talk. What's going on, everybody? It's Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. The footage you guys are seeing is a game that does not exist anymore, that was going to be created, but now, due to this ugly, fucked up divorce between Konami and Hideo Kojima, is no longer going to happen. So this is the child that was never born. This is Konami and Kojima's pull-out baby, PT, the playable teaser for Silent Hills. I want to talk about this whole thing. Uh, Konami and Kojima, where, where do we start? I love Hideo Kojima. I love what he's done. You know, I'm an old man to some of you younger guys. I remember when Metal Gear Solid first came to the PlayStation 1, and Hideo Kojima, he breathed new life into an old franchise. For some of you guys who don't know, the Metal Gear franchise is really old. It's older than this. It was back on the Nintendo. It's a really old, top-down, shoot-em-up shoot game. And he turned it into an espionage stealth adventure with cinematic flair and, and pre presentation that was unmatched for its time. And he became huge based on the Metal Gear name. And that's why people know Hideo Kojima today, because of you know his thought process on creating very engaging games and his ability to write engaging stories. And don't get me wrong, I know some of his stories are very convoluted and they can, they can go on and they can have 45 twists before you get to the end and sometimes you feel unfulfilled. But for the most part, his stuff has been very successful and a lot of people have been looking forward to his Metal Gear games. He's been hitting it, hitting it leaving uh, Konami for a number of years and I would imagine that it's just been him wanting to do things his way versus them wanting him to do it the way that they've been wanting him to do it. And uh, he just couldn't leave because he was too tied into the business aspect of Konami. He even created his own Konami subsidiary, uh, Kojima Productions, which is actually partly owned by Konami. So it, it's really hard to say fuck you to somebody if they got half of your money, or if they have more than half of your money, or if they own part of your name. You know, it's really hard to, to, to do that. But something happened recently. I'm sure there was a lot of Japanese curse words being said in an office someplace, and Kojima was in that office. And it got to the point where Konami and, and Kojima said, hey, fuck it, we're going to go our own separate ways, and it turned into the worst kind of divorce you could imagine. And when I say divorce, I mean divorce. It's not like they just walked away and said, hey, it was nice doing business with you. Kojima walked away, and Konami said, everything that you do that has our name on it is over. And Kojima probably gave him a double take, like, what the hell do you mean? All of a sudden, if you go to the Kojima Productions website, you get redirected to Konami. Uh, the Kojima Productions Twitter page is gone. And it's unfortunate that Konami is that bitter. And I understand it being bitter because Hideo Kojima is their number one breadwinner. He's their bread and butter. Their other franchises are not doing well. Castlevania is not doing well. Okay, The Turtles arcade game is 25, 30 years ago. Uh, their games have just not been doing very well. The remakes of Castlevania have sucked. And for the most part, all their good games are many, many years ago. And that time has come and, come and gone. And so they've really been banking, for the most part, banking on the Metal Gear franchise. And now that Ko Kojima says, hey, I'm, I'm tired of this crap. It's time for me to, to step off and do my own thing. They, they want to take every aspect of what he is and dump it down the toilet. Now let's talk about Silent Hill. Silent Hill is one of my favorite horror franchises of all time, and it was an amazing game. For the most part, Silent Hill was one of the scariest games for its time. All we had back then was Resident Evil 1 and Silent Hill, and to be honest, Silent Hill was a scarier experience. Then we got Silent Hill 2, which is arguably the best Silent Hill game, then Silent Hill 3, which is still an amazing Silent Hill, and then from that point on, we saw a drop in quality. We got crap like The Room. Nobody enjoyed these games. and so. Kojima went to Konami. I'm sure this is what happened. He said, hey, look, I see what's happening to a beloved franchise. Let me breathe new life into it the same way that I did with Metal Gear. Let me get some talented writers, get some good actors, and let me write an amazing Silent Hill story, and, and we'll see what we can do. So he goes out and gets Guillermo del Toro, the guy who wrote Pan's Labyrinth, which is an amazing film. He goes out and gets Norman Reedus, the guy from The Walking Dead, who's at the absolute height of his career. Everybody knows who this man is. And they all sign on to do this. They sign on to do it. And I know Konami at that point was like, damn it, this is nothing but an excuse for people to give us money. This is amazing. And something really bad happened at some point recently <laughs> that made Konami and Kojima part ways. And like I said, it's like a bitter divorce. Konami 
decided anything Kojima was attached to was over, no matter what. So there's someone in a very high position of power that's extremely bitter, extremely bitter with Hideo Kojima. Like I said, they took down his Twitter page, his website now redirects straight to Konami, and uh, it's unfortunate. Especially when it comes to a franchise like Silent Hill that needs this push. I mean, this trailer, this teaser, was was very well received, and a lot of people never beat it. A lot of people were too scared to complete it. And very few games do you ever get that actually elicit that kind of response from gamers. I was really excited about it. It came out free. Everybody was getting to the day of the announcement. It was really, really fun. And then when you get to the end and you see what it's all about, come on. Who would not want a Silent Hill game with this pedigree of talent? A Silent Hill game that's being helmed by Hideo Kojima? No one's ever seen his his take on horror. I love J-horror. I really do. Japanese horror is some of my favorite horror. And to see his take on it would probably make my fucking head explode. And now we'll never see this happen. And it's really unfortunate. And it really kind of pisses me off. But like I said, I hope Kojima lands on his feet. I'm pretty sure he will. There are probably people headhunting him right now from every major video game developer in the world. You know, they want his talent. And Konami, what do they have now? Not very much. You guys let me know in the comments. What do you think will happen with Konami? What do they have up their sleeve? What's going to happen with the Silent Hill? If they're even going to make it, which I seriously doubt they'll ever make it, what's going to happen to the future of Konami? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I really do appreciate everybody checking out my videos, sharing the videos on social media, Facebook, and things like that. It really means a lot, and it's helping the channel. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.